Well, University of Oregon men's basketball coach Dana Altman said it this week, didn't he? He said he's never paid a player, he never has, he never will. Still, what's happening on Tuesday in Manhattan in a United States District Court is interesting. Brian Bowen Sr., who's at the center of the NCAA corruption trial, will take the stand again and he'll be cross-examined. And Oregon is expected to be part of that cross-examination. They may come up. In the meantime, some questions. How about this one? Why is Oregon suddenly getting five-star talent when they never had it before, on a consistent basis at least? Bull Bull is with the Oregon Ducks. So is Lewis King, both five-star players. Bull Bull attended four high schools in four years. Lewis King, three high schools in four years. So yeah, some questions for Oregon about the one and done era. Is it going to work? Is this worth the trouble? But while we wait for all of that, let's address the elephants in the room. That's Nike and Adidas. Let's be clear. They are heavily invested in this trial and they're heavily invested in what's going on in college basketball. Nike and Adidas and Under Armour too, all headquartered in our area, pour money in hundreds of millions of dollars into college basketball, youth basketball, AAU tournaments. They get in early and they get these kids when they're 12, 13, 14 years old. Let's make no mistake, it's not surprising then when these kids come through the AAU system and the elite youth basketball system and they choose an Oregon Nike-based school or a Louisville Adidas-based school, they're picking and staying with their sneaker allegiance. Louisville gets a $160 million deal with Adidas. Oregon has an $88 million deal with Nike. That's big dollars. We're talking now about the sham that is amateurism. Can we at least agree that that's died if that's on trial here? We're talking about an NCAA tournament that will pay the college basketball world a billion dollars a year through the year 2032. This is an amateurism. So yes, on Tuesday, I'm not sure we're gonna get big answers about whether some university paid a player or not, because really behind all of this, it's Nike and Adidas. They're steering this and they're driving this, aren't they? So yes, never paid a player, never have, never will. I buy that from Dana Altman. But Nike and Adidas and Under Armour too, I think you're guilty here. I think you're guilty of steering players and I think we all know it. Yes, I'd like to see the sneaker companies out of basketball, but we all know that's never gonna happen. Still, as Tuesday forms and we get all these answers, ask yourself this, isn't this really just a sneaker war that we're all caught up in?